What's up you guys, my name is Matt McCoy. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and the founder of loopcommunity.com. And today I'm gonna to show you a really cool Max for Live device created by my buddy, Jeff Kaler, and it's called Taz. You can check this out at jeffkaler.com. Taz is a Max for Live device that you can put into Ableton Live, session view or arrangement view. And what it does is it actually can announce the song title of the song you're about to play, which is pretty cool and it uses the voices built into your computer. So, um, go to jeffkaler.com, you can buy Taz for $24.95, and then you use it inside of Ableton Live. Let me just show you how it works. So let's go to Live, we're gonna start in Session View. Now I have a song here called Line and the Lamb, and what would be really cool is that when I start playing this song, it actually would announce Line and the Lamb. So once you install Taz, Go ahead and just drag the Taz Session View Max for Live device in over here, and it drops it, and you'll see Taz show up down here. And what we're going to do to set this up, we're going to double click to add a MIDI clip. And now on the clip name, I can type in what I want it to announce. So I'm going to use the asterisk and then type in Lion and the Lamb. You have to put the asterisk in at the beginning because that's how Taz knows what to speak. So let's go ahead and back, uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, device here. I'm gonna press play on Lion and the Lamb. Lion and the Lamb. And you'll see that Taz announced the song title. What's cool is you can adjust the volume. You can also choose the voice. I mean, you're limited to just however many voices you have in your computer. Uh, so there's all different languages. Um, so here's Alice, let's try that. Your name the lamb. All right, so that's a different voice, right? That's kind of weird. I like Karen. Let's try this one. Lion and the lamb. And it'll announce whatever I want to say. So I could even say, um, let's go ahead and try adjusting it. Let's say lion and the lamb. And I'm going to type in at the end, key of A. Let's see what happens. Lion and the lamb, key of A. Cool. So now everybody in the band knows exactly, you know, what song we're doing, what key it's in. Intro. It's two, very three. easy to set up and use inside of Session View. Now let me show you how you can use it in Arrangement View. Let's go over to Arrange of View. I have a song here, Lion and the Lamb. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Max for Live device for Arrange of View. Just drag it in at the bottom. Now this one's going to work differently. Instead of typing in uh, what I want to announce in a MIDI clip, we're actually going to use section locators to announce where we want to go. So at the top of the track, there's a little button over here that says Set. I'm going to press Set and it's going to add a little marker or a section locator. I'm going to bring it to the beginning. I'm going to right click, go to rename, and let's type in the asterisk. Again, that's very important because that's how Taz knows what to speak. And let's type in lion and the lamb. All right. Let's go ahead and back down to Taz and let's just change my voice down to Karen. All right. And let's hit stop and let play. Lion and the lamb. Karen went ahead and announced lion and the lamb and now we're right into our track. Intro. If I wanted to, I could add more locators throughout my song with more announcements, and uh, Taz will go ahead and speak all those. And you could use this for anything, for like band cues, maybe like build it up, or uh, bring it down, or uh, the key of the song. So there's a lot of things you could do with Taz. If you're interested, check out jeffkaler.com, download Taz today.